<laughs> I'm so glad to see you fourth graders. It is gonna be a good one this time. I've got a good one for you. This insect is the source of so many science fiction and video game robots and aliens. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is yet. What I am gonna tell you is what I've seen you draw is really good. I mean, see what I mean? You just draw one simple shape at a time and a few circles to remind you of where stuff goes. And then the rest is just rectangles and a little bit of detail. These are good tricks, really good tricks. So uh, like I said, I think you'll like this one. It's got a cool name as well. And when you're done with it, you'll be able to draw a lot of different things. All right, well, let me put this one up right here. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Praying Mantis. <laughs> the Praying Mantis even has a cool name. I'm mean, gonna look at it. these big four legs go up like this, and it looks like he's praying until he goes whack, whips him forward, and that's how he catches his prey. <laughs> uh, doesn't fly, at least this species doesn't. But it does walk around on six legs, four legs, just like an insect does. Real good eyesight, sharp jaws. But they can't hurt people. They are just after other bugs. All right? So let's draw this fantastic beast, insect. OK? See you in a minute. Oh, sorry. Where's that button? There it is. Hey, well I'm down here in the drawing basement and as you can see, I've got a drawing of the praying mantis. And believe it or not, with this guy, these are the first shapes that you're gonna draw. Really. Cause uh, there's this thing and that's a rectangle, and that's a triangle. So it's no big deal, really. I'm gonna put that aside, I'm gonna push this over, and uh, we'll get going on those first three, okay? Like I said, you start with a praying mantis with a line, simple line, rectangle, that's not a simple line. Not very straight. <laughs> we'll fix that later. And triangle. And if you want to, you can put those eyeballs in there right now. Okay? Now, on this line, the next thing that comes in is the bottom of the abdomen and the top. It looks kind of like a leaf if you run into them. And that's not an accident. That uh, is camouflage so we can hide. Uh, you're gonna put circles right here. And might as well put those antennas right there like that. And like I said, that's where the eyes go. Brain man, very good eyes. So, on we go. This leg is a rectangle. And another rectangle. And if you remember the cricket, it's a lot like that. Because the next shape is a circle and a rectangle. And a rectangle make that a little thicker. Let me put some spikes on it, just like the cricket. And while we're right here, we'll do the same thing, because we're going to put the other praying mantis leg on there this time, because I think you guys have drawn enough to realize that, okay, you can see this other leg 
coming in. All right. Over here, simple rectangle. Guys do that all day, another rectangle. And then a kind of a triangle there. And we're gonna do that on the other side. Rectangle, rectangle, kind of a triangle there. These are the fun ones. A little longer rectangle. Let's put a line here. And then there's one of those, one of those, rectangle, and that's kind of little feet. Yeah, I know, it's weird. And you can see the other one on the other side, just like that. And there are its little feet. Right there. <laughs> it's such a cool looking animal. Oh my gosh. So, here's the ink. Just getting those antennas up there like that. Primary sensory organs. These are what uh, he folds up right next to his body. And they kind of come zapping out when he wants to catch his dinner. Now, like I said before, he uh, looks kind of like a walking leaf. Really, I've run into them before, just ran into the one last weekend. But just like a dead brown leaf until I realized it was trying to walk away from me. It's like, wow, how cool. Praying mantis. Ball joint up here. Just like the cricket. And the leg from the other side. Now, work on this part. Bottom of his abdomen. And he's got some moving plates, just like the bee did. do is clean up some of our line work, start erasing, and then you color it. And it looks like it's a, a, a mixture of yellow on the bottom and you just put some green on the top. And it all started with a line, a rectangle, and a triangle. Not too bad, y'all. I know that you will do okay. So, when you're finished, of course, take a picture of it, and then you get it to me. All right, have fun with this. And uh, maybe the next art book assignment will be some sort of alien robot thing. I don't know, have fun, bye-bye. Well, that was fun. You did a good job. Drawing with shapes really, really, really works. You just gotta train your eye to look at the object, break it down into those shapes, and then see where the other shapes go. All right, it takes a little practice, but I know you can do it. And I wanna see it. 
take a picture, send it to me. All right? Awesome. See you next week.